Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to show you a match analysis. Even though my season is currently over, I'm going to show you one of my previous matches that I played in. This was in the second division in Australia in the National Premier League. As you can see on the screen right now, I'm starting as number seven. So I'm playing in blue. So let's get right into the game. So this is the first play of the game. Obviously, I'm just closing the ball down here. Now pay attention to this sequence. So my right back is now tucking inside to follow the ball. So he's leaving the man free who just played it. So it's my responsibility to track that man so he can go and close the ball. So I'm going to go and run down the line and track back to recover for my team. Now check that the player has actually stopped running. But I've still continued my run down the line. So you might be wondering why I'm doing this. And it's basically because rule number one of defending is always get behind the ball first. So that's what I've done, I'm behind the ball. Then the ball actually gets turned over, we get it back, it comes to me. I get my head up, I see a long pass opportunity and I play it in behind their back four to our striker. So just pay attention, my head is up, so I'm scanning the field and seeing what's going on around me. That's very important not to have your head down looking at the ball. Then I'm able to see the pass and land it just behind their back four. So next play here, ball comes to me, I'm turning, I'm cutting inside, and then I end up playing it simple. Our midfielder takes a shot but actually goes wide. So pay attention here, I've just checked over my shoulder and seen that there is space behind me. So I'm turning into it. Now I'm trying to get my body in between the ball and the defender because now the only way he can stop me is to foul me so I get the advantage. Now we can see that their left back is anticipating that I'm going to drive down the line here. So I'm trying to assess my options. I'm seeing there's a space in the centre that is now open. So I'm going to take a touch inside and drive into that area there. So I'm driving into this area. Now let's freeze the frame here. What I'm trying to do is trying to draw one of these defenders in. That's why I'm drawing into the space. So that if they drew into me, then I would be able to slip the ball into one of my strikers and it would be through on goal. I'm going to show you another clip now to show you what I was going for at this point. So here's from a previous match this season. I'm cutting inside just as I did. I'm trying to draw defenders in. Because if you draw defenders in, then you know someone on your team is going to be free. So you can see in this position, all the defenders are focusing on me and they've actually freed up the striker. So I'm able to actually slip that ball through that I was hoping for. So that's what I was going for in the previous clip. So let's go back into that scene. However, the defenders don't pinch at this point. So just to keep the ball, I play it simple to my centre midfielder. Next play here, ball comes into me and I'm just taking a first time flick around the corner. So just see again, it's flicked on. I'm already seeing that the guy on my outside is making the run. So I'm able to play it first time into his path and we're on the break. Next play here, ball comes into me. I don't have a passing option on. So I'm just trying to keep the ball, taking small touches at speed and driving forward. And I end up winning the foul here. So let's take another look at that. Even though I ran through a few defenders here, I didn't use any moves at all. Just some drops of the shoulders, some changes of direction with the ball and running at speed. And that's effective. So I didn't really have an obvious pass on, so I'm just trying to keep the ball and drive forward. And like I said, it worked out in the end as we did win a free kick. So now we're kicking off into the second half. So the ball comes into me, I hold it up for a second. Looking for a pass in the middle, but as we can see here, the defender here has blocked off that pass for me to play into the middle. So instead of wasting the ball away, I've actually seen that my right back is making an overlapping run. So I turn it back outside, wait for the moment, and I'm able to play it through their back line and put him through on the wing. Next play here, ball comes into me, quick turn on the ball decided to go at their fullback this time. I beat him for pace but he makes an excellent recovery and wins the ball. He's out for a corner. There was claims for a penalty but that was a really good tackle. 
Now let's have a look at this. I win the penalty kick, but let's see what happened here. As we showed at the start of the video, I'm trying to get my body in between the ball and the defender because I said the only option is for him to foul me. So I peel off here, ball comes to me, so I take a touch inside so I can get my body in between the defender and the ball, and he just barges into the back of me, and the ref gives an instant penalty. No question about it. We actually score from the penalty, back in the game. So next play here, defender wins it really well, comes to me, and I'm just playing that first time ball around the corner again. Very similar to the first half play that I did, for the same player in fact. So as you can see, ball comes in, I'm seeing that player on my left side making the run, so I'm playing it first time into his path and he's on the counter attack again. Unfortunately, he plays a heavy touch right here. The defender does well to block him off and the keeper actually collects that nice and easy. So this one's kept in by our player. I just take a touch out my feet, keep the ball, play it to my center mid. Great ball here from the center back to the wing. I've just peeled off to get nice and wide. Driving end line, playing it across the box to the penalty area, but it just doesn't work out. So I'm going to show you my train of thought here. So the ball's come wide to me, there's no one in the box at this point so I can't play a first time cross. I've got my head up to assess the situation. There's nobody in there so I've decided I want to buy some more time. So I'm going to dribble towards the end line and then try and pull it back for a first time finish if possible. So I've taken it end line. And this is good because it gets the defenders facing the goal. That's what you want to get is the defenders facing the goal. It's a lot harder for them to defend at this point. So I'm in a good position. Usually I would want to play this ball to the penalty spot. So that's what I did along the ground. And I'm hoping there's going to be someone there to finish it in. This is something we work on in training. This player should have delayed his run. Although there was a miscommunication, he should have been here. And if he was, it would have been a first time hit for him on goal. So there was just a miscommunication between him and I at this point and it didn't work out and the chance goes begging. Final play of the game, I'm peeling off wide at this point, ball comes into me, I've isolated the defender one on one so I'm going to go straight at him with quick nudges, sharp explosive cut inside and get the shot off and we win the corner. Shot could have been better, I should have probably gone for the far post. So let's look at this one again, as you can see here. I'm angling my run out wide, it's going to give me more time and space if I do receive the ball. Plays it into my path, which is perfect. Now I've seen that I've got one defender between me and the goal. So instead of going to the line, I'm able to go directly at him. This is going to force him to make a decision. So quick nudges, small touches. He thinks I'm going to go end line, so I'm able to play that explosive touch in his weak side and then quickly get the shot off. It was on frame, but it could have been more accurate. And that concludes today's match analysis. Let me know in the comments if you do want to see more of these types of videos, as I do have more match footage available. But if you did enjoy this video, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video.